all right guys um yeah this is uh video number three in this uh, uh series and um, here we are going to talk about the components the different components that make up reinforcement learning and uh, if you haven't watched the first two videos or the, the the previous videos that introduces reinforcement learning please do or if you already uh, know what reinforcement learning is then uh, you can just go ahead and so uh like we already saw the components that make up reinforcement learning we always have an environment so if you recall an environment is where the agent learns right so in the context of day trading let's say we want to learn how to trade uh, 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 uh cryptocurrencies so we are in a crypto trading environment or if we want to learn how to trade stocks we are in a stock trading environment and that environment produces a state, right? So a state is just like, okay, let's say you have you, are, you have trading days, day one to the last day of the year. So you are in an, a, a stock trading environment. So that environment is going to give you a state. Maybe if you, let's say today, it's going to give you the price of that uh, asset today. So that's an observation. So an observation is, uh, you know, it's a it's produced by an environment so today the price of today the price of tomorrow those are states those are different states and then we have an agent right so this is our guy this is the ai agent that we want to train to make decisions right so this agent takes actions and these actions uh produces rewards based on the environment so these are the five components that we have um for reinforcement learning. So in the context of trading, we can have a trading environment and then this environment produces a state. So let's just say in simple terms, a, a simple example, the state today, the price of that asset today. So for example, if we are trading Bitcoin, that's the price of Bitcoin today. If we are tra trading uh, Apple shares, the price of Apple shares today. So it's produced by that environment so tomorrow the state will be the price of the asset tomorrow and then we have an agent that makes decisions right so the decisions is like okay you're going to when you see a state you're going to make and take an, an action right it can either buy hold or sell this this uh you know this assets and then when it buy and sells this asset it's going to be rewarded, right? So the reward is either a profit or a loss, depending on the next state. So whenever it takes an action, the action is evaluated in the environment to see if it was a good or bad action. If it was a good action, it gets a reward. A positive reward means mm, it was doing it, the action was good. A negative reward means the action was bad. So this reward design can be, so we can make certain statements from looking at this. We can say that an environment outputs a state or an observation. We're going to explain in detail later what this is, right? So like we can see from the picture and then we know that an agent takes an action, right? So, and the agent receives a reward based on the state action and next state. So you can see the different components of reinforcement learning and what 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 are their rules in reinforcement learning right so to put it more into perspective let's let's take for example let's see how we can link the components together right so we can do this by uh, like we already uh, gave you the structure before and so we're just going to explain how this structure is so you have uh, a, a trading environment right so in this trading environment is going to produce a state right so based uh, on this state this state is going to be sent to the agent so the agent is going to see the state which is like all right a simple example let me keep saying it is like the price okay i'm going to see the price of of the of the asset that i want to trade right and when I see the price, I'm going to make a decision. So our agent, our AI agent sees the price and decides what to do. So he's going to say, am I gonna buy, hold or sell? So if he decides to buy, 
it buys and that action is, you know, it's the environment recognizes the action it took and it's going to reward the agent, right? It's going to tell you this action was bad or good based on the observation it saw. So it's going to learn which observations are best for what actions. So the price, uh, I'm just using the price as an example here. We're going to see what an observation really is uh, in, in future videos. A price is just a simple example. And so this uh, reward is going to be sent to the agent to inform it that that action it took was a bad action or that action it took was a good action. So the, 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 the feedback to the agent is the reward. And so you can see that this is, the re, this is how the reinforcement learning, this is how the components of reinforcement learning are linked together. So this happens all over and all over again till the agent learns a good strategy, right? So the, the good thing with, um, with reinforcement learning is like, so for you, you learn and the future, the future is going and you're learning, right? For, for, we can get data from the past and teach this agent to learn how to trade by simulation, right? We do this again, we can, we can make it, uh, we can do these simulations more than a thousand simulations. So the agent will learn like, okay, these are the best actions and it's going to, you know, learn a strategy. So that's a simple way that uh, we can explain what, how to link these components of reinforcement learning. Um, this picture is not the ideal one. There are so many different um, uh, designs for, you know, composing and, 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 and explaining uh, the framework for reinforcement learning. But this is my, my design of how I think I can put it.